Hi everyone, uh, today I have a new video on the topic of EGDIS for you. In today's video, I am going to be talking about the difference between EGDIS, ENC and SENC. This is an important video because students are often asked questions between each and they don't know the difference. So let's get started. Now, what is EGDIS? EGDIS, as you know, is an electronic chart display and information system. That is what it stands for. Now, I don't want to just read the definition from the screen because anybody can do that. I want you to understand what each of this sentence stands for that defines the EGDIS. The first thing that you have to remember is that EGDIS is not defined by SOLAS. There is a circular that defines SOLAS, that is a maritime safety circular. And there is a there's a separate video. I'm going to make a video on that. It's Maritime Safety Circular 232 by 82 that defines the EGDIS. But SOLAS doesn't define EGDIS. So what SOLAS does define in its chapter 5 is defines the nautical charts and how to update the nautical charts. Right. So remember that EGDIS is a navigation information system. What does that mean? So that means that EGDIS needs to adhere to the IMO requirements, the IHO requirements and the IEC requirements. I'll talk about what each of them stand for in a separate video. So IMO is of course International Maritime Organization, IHO is International Hydrographic Organization and IEC is International Electrotechnical Commission. Now this is an integrated system where a lot of information is fed into the EGDIS. There are about 38 odd communication ports or navigation sensors and they can although on the ship we only use about 6 to 12 navigation ports we don't use all the 38 but we can use all those ports to get information from other equipment and we can you know uh, get uh, the integrated information for example now on ICTIS you see maybe the radar overlay you see the AIS uh, you see the GPS input but uh, you also have the uh, functions available to get input like temperatures or wind direction or weather patterns so that provision is also there that is why it's called a navigation information system. All right. Then it should have adequate backup arrangements. Now I'll talk about backup on a very on a separate video altogether because you have to understand what the backup arrangements should be. But you have to remember that this backup was never there for paper charts. So when you had paper charts, there was no need for backup. But with EGDIS, you have a need for backup. Now what that backup could be, it could be a paper charts or it could be another uh, ECS or ENC based system. It could be another EGDIS and we'll talk about how the EGDIS can be considered a backup. That's a separate video. We'll talk about the performance standards, but remember that EGDIS requires a backup arrangements, which was not there with the paper charts. And then of course, uh, we have the uh, SOLAS chapter 5 regulation where you can see that uh, it doesn't define the EGDIS, but it should be complying with the up to date charts required. So the charts that you carry on your EGDIS, those are ENC charts or electronic navigation charts, they should be up to date. They should be corrected. The same thing is as for the paper charts as well. They should be corrected. Then it says it should display the selected information from a system electronic navigation chart or SENC or sometimes somebody says SCNC, somebody says SENC. So we'll talk about SENC as well later on. So SENC, uh, we'll talk about that in detail, but what the, the word I want you to understand here is selected information. So what does that mean? That means that the selected information is based on the user. So you as the user displays the selected information. If you are a bad user, you don't understand uh, the EGDIS function very well, then you will not display the correct information. So you, the EGDIS will only provide you the information that you select as the user. So that is a very important. And then you have the EGDIS will assist you in route planning and route monitoring. So here it never says that the EGDIS will assist you in collision avoidance. Remember that, right? So EGDIS, they don't say that EGDIS will assist you in collision avoidance. What it says is EGDIS will assist you or it will assist the mariner in route planning and route monitoring. So this is something that you have to make a note of again. And then of course, also it displays additional navigation related information. So that could additional navigation related information could be what you select as the user or it could also be what you interlay the equipment with. It could be a radar overlay, it could be AIS, it could be GPS. So all that is also additional navigation. So it says additional, it doesn't define what additional means. So whatever equipment you integrate it with. So that is the meaning of the EGDIS. This is the, these are the terms. You can see there are some terms that are underlined. You have to focus on these underlying terms and you have to understand what they mean. You can't just memorize the definition and give it to the server. 
then we have the ENC or ENC stands for the electronic navigation chart and again I am not just going to read out the definition for you I want you to understand the definition here so the important thing you have to remember is ENC is a database all right so what does that mean that means that it comes together with the systems and the softwares and it produces the display on the FDS. So ENC or electronic navigation chart, although it is ENC, it says chart, you cannot draw courses on an ENC. ENC is a database. All right, so it has all the information. You cannot draw courses on it. All right, ENC together with the systems and software, it leads to the uh, sync or the transformation of the ENC that allows the charts to be displayed on the EGDIS system. So this is the first thing you have to understand about the ENC. ENC, you cannot draw courses on it. So in order to procure and install the ENCs to a particular FDIS, the user needs two license keys, a user permit and a cell permit. All right, and then of course, we can talk about the IHO standards for encryption, authentication, licensing and all that. We'll talk about that in a separate video. Here, I'm just trying to explain to you the difference between each. All right, so electronic navigation chart needs to be installed over to a particular FDIS and together with the software systems, it produces the images that you see on your this screen all right so enc is to be used with the edis all right uh, so it is should not be possible to alter the contents of a enc and updates should be stored separately from the enc encs do not contain any symbols line styles or presentation rules the rules for the display of encs on edis are contained in a separate software component of the edis presentation library so ENC is not the basis for any electronic charts. ENC has a database which is structured differently. Although it is built from the same hydrographic data as the electronic chart systems, but ENC is actually a database. All right, and it gets all that data from the hydrographic office and that is how it builds the system. But together with the software, it then allows the display of the charts on the FDIS screen. All right, so this is what I want you to understand about the ENC, the electronic navigation chart. Finally, I come to SENC or somebody says SENC or SENC. SENC stands for System Electronic Navigation Chart. Now again, I don't want to read out the definition. You can read out the definition yourself, but I want you to be able to understand what the definition is. So each EGDIS software manufacturer has their own SENC format. All right. So contents of the SENC should be adequate and up to date for the intended voyage to comply with the Regulation 5 of SOLAS. SENC information is available for display during the route planning and route monitoring and it is divided into either a base display or a standard display or all other information. SENC means a database in the manufacturer's internal EGDIS format which results from the lossless transformation of the entire electronic navigation chart system contents and its updates. So there should not be any loss so the electronic navigation chart, which is a database together with that, together with the software, it produces a display on the EGDIS without the loss of any information that was stored in the database. Now it is this database that is accessed by the EGDIS for any kind of display generation. So it is the SENC. The SENC is the database that is accessed by EGDIS, not ENC. It's the SENC that is accessed by EGDIS for the display generation and other navigational functions. And this is equivalent to an up-to-date paper chart. So therefore, SENC may also contain information added by the mariner and information from other sources. So if the mariner wants to add, like say a buoy or a chart correction or a marine submarine exercises or anchor cables, so you draw on the SENC. You don't draw on the ENC or the electronic navigation chart. So these are the essential information or this is the essential differences between each of these three terms. So you have to know what is the difference between EGDIS, ENC and SENC so that if you are asked this question by the oral examiner or you are asked this question in the written exam anyway, you should be able to explain the difference between it. So again, I'll summarize it for you. So ENC, you don't draw courses on the ENC. ENC together, it's a database also, but together with the software, it produces the display on the EGDIS. The EGDIS actually is just a display screen. The EGDIS actually accesses the SENC database. The SENC contains the ENC and together with the uh, softwares, it produces the lossless 
transformation of the entire electronic navigation chart containing updates. All right, this is just the display screen. Remember that it's the ENC and the SNC which together form the display. Thank you for watching, guys. And if you have any doubts, uh, please write to me. I will keep making videos on this because this is a vast topic and I cannot discuss everything in one video. So please watch out for those videos and keep watching each video to have a good knowledge of the ADIS system. Thanks and bye for now.